Hello, today I show you how to use Paint in Photoshop action and here is some of the results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 2000 pixels and more for portrait photos and 3500 pixels and more for full body and landscape photos. So if you have the photo with too small or too big resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height value. Ok, and before your section you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just to CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right. Select Panel Options and check the Add Copy to Copy Lesson Groups. Ok, that's all. Now, how to use Action? First, open your photo and one more important thing. Your photo needs to have the background view. So, if your photo has this view, you just need to select the photo, then go to the Layer, New and select Background from Layer. Now it's ok. Ok, the next step, open brushes file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, and press it type, select brushes, click load, go to the load folder and make double click on paint brushes file. Ok, click done. The next step, open patterns file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, but now in press it type, select patterns, click load. Go to the load folder again and make double click on paint patterns file. Ok, click done. And the next step, open action file. For that go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the load folder last time and make double click on paint photoshop action file. Ok, now create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus so that you can use brush tool, you can use some of lesser tools and you can use quick selection and magic wand tools. Uh, for that image I gonna use a quick selection tool You can use any colors. Okay, when you painted the area, 
you can make a little more space for the effect. For that you can use crop tool, just select the crop tool and little scale the frame. Okay, and now open if you close it actions panel, for that go to the window, actions, find action on the action list, open the folder view section, open the action and select the action and click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100%. Okay, it's 100%. Now click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm going to scroll this step. Okay, when action finished work, you can change the final composition and now I show you how to make this. In final composition, uh, we have four folders. It's background elements, your object elements, then color effects and color and contour settings of all image. Okay, let's start from background elements folder. In this folder, you can change the background color. For that, make double click on layer icon. Also, this folder contains uh, the folder with background brushes. It's four brushes. You can change the colors of this layers. And also this folder contains the background texture. And the last folder in background elements folder is color and contour settings of all background. In this folder you can add the color tone to background. You can change the hue saturation of background. And you can add the gradient to background. If you want to change the colors of gradient, just make double click on layer icon, click on gradient and make double click on color what you want to change. Okay, and also in this folder you can change the brightness and contours of the ground. The next folder in this composition it's your object elements folder. This folder contains uh, five folders. First folder it's object layers. This folder contains uh, all layers from uh, your object composition. And if you want to erase some space of any uh, layer, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, select black color and just paint where you want to erase this layer. If you want to make visible, just paint with white color. Same with other layers. 
Also in this folder, you can change the color of paint frame. And also this folder contains uh, the layer, it's at original colors layer. You can change the hue and saturation of this layer. And you can change the brightness and contrast of this layer. Okay, the next folder it's five color tones. In this folder, as you can see, you can change the five colors of uh, some of parts of your object. Let me show how it works. Very easy. Okay, the next folder it's a uh, watercolor folder. In this folder, you can change the hue and saturation of watercolor layer. And you can add the color tone to this layer. The next folder is color and contour settings of your object. In this folder, you can change the brightness and contrast of your object. You can change the hue and saturation of your object. You can add the gradient to your object. Of course, you can change the angle of this gradient. And you can scale this gradient. And also in this folder you can add the color tone to your object. And the last folder in your object elements folder it's color correction layers. Okay, the next folder it's 10 color effects. And the last folder it's color and contour settings of all image. In this folder you can add the gradient to all image. You can change the hue saturation of all image. You can add the photo filter to all image. If you want to change the photo filter, just make double click on layer icon. Then select uh, the filter what you need from list. Also, you can change the density of this effect.
you can make a black and white composition. You can add the color tone to all image. And you can change the brightness and contrast of old image. So it's already. Here is our result. Now you need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.